Evening, everybody. This is Sports Fanatic News. I'm Joe Borg. If you enjoy the content, as always, please like and subscribe down below or at the end at that easy widget at the top. This is going to be the final series preview of the year because one way or another, it is the final series for the Red Sox. As, of course, they are going to be taking on the Washington Nationals. And, of course, the worst part for us as the offense is struggling, the DH. The DH ain't going to be there to try to help the offense get going even more since the Red Sox are in Washington. Before we get into the Red Sox, though, since they're tied with the Mariners due to the bugaboo of really struggling at the end of this season, um, let's get into who they play, number one, and then we'll also go over who the Blue Jays play, who are a game back um, this weekend, and who their matchups are. So, when it comes to the Blue Jays, uh, we'll start with them, since they're the team that's a game out. The Mariners are the one that mo matters the most, or say the best for last. They got Eichelman, um, who really struggles, going up against Steven Matz tonight in Toronto. So that that definitely leans Toronto when it comes to that matchup. Then they got John Means going up against Alex Manoa. Two very good young pitchers there. Means a little bit more experienced, obviously, than Manoa, but very good pitchers there. So I wouldn't say that really leans to either side. That's a game that the Orioles, just like they were against us Red Sox, could be spoilers to the Blue Jays as well. And then when it comes to Sunday for the Toronto Blue Jays, it is Zimmerman going for the Orioles against Ryu, who hasn't been as good this year, 4.39 ERA. So they're going to need the good Ryu. So I would say the first game favors the Blue Jays, of course. The second game is really split. And then the third game, would favor the Blue Jays on paper, but um, Ryu's stats are not even that much better than Zimmerman, who has a 4.66. He has a 4.39. So that'll depend what uh, Hunjin Ryu they get. Now, when it comes to the Seattle Mariners, they are going to be taking on the Los Angeles Angels, which of course will be late. So of course it's going to be late night for a lot of these games to pay attention to how Boston gets affected by Seattle. They got Suarez going for them, where Marco Gonzalez is going for the Seattle Mariners, who has an even four ERA. I would say that is a pretty split. That's a pretty even pitching matchup wise. But I would favor the Mariners since they have the better overall offense and team, obviously, if it's an even pitching matchup wise, unfortunately, um, in that game. Now, when it comes to tomorrow, the Mariners have Chris Flexen going against Young. Jonathan Diaz um, for the Angels, uh, the inexperienced Diaz. You have to see how he does, where Flexen's actually pitching a pretty hell of a season this year. So the Mariners definitely seem to be shaping up for their rotation matchups a little bit better than the uh, Blue Jays, I would say here. Definitely having the advantages more so leaning their way. And then they automatically have an advantage for Sunday as of now because they got Tyler Anderson going against what right now looks like a bullpen game since Shohei Otani was going to pitch on Sunday. Uh, but then got scratched from this final start. So they definitely got the advantage going there. So the Red Sox are going to have to show up and show out mm -hmm. in this series against the Washington Nationals. Otherwise, they might be screwed. And after all this, having a great start to the first half of the season, still being in a good spot in the wild card race before that four-game losing streak that Nathan have already stopped. And then we looked atrocious right after. Um, before that, uh, they were in a decent spot, at least. Now they're not in a good spot at all, even with the Seattle Mariners. They need to keep winning in order to control their destiny here and hope the Mariners are able to pick up an L somewhere. Now, when it comes to tonight, the Red Sox have Eduardo Rodriguez going. They're going to need the locked-in and electric Erod. When you can see him at best, we know how good of a pitcher he can be. If you get that, then you can easily be able to establish the game early on the defensive and pitching end, and then get momentum from that to get the offense going and hopefully um, generate some runs and just kind of get on the board. Maybe even play some small ball because you're in an NL ballpark. You just got to get going. You got to generate some runs somehow, some way. Against Josh Rogers, who's so far so good for Josh Rogers, um, he's 2-1 and one with a 2.73 ERA and 19 Ks in his young career. And he's a lefty in the Red Sox, as Dennis Eckersley pointed out, on the broadcast the other day, struggle big time against lefties in some games for whatever idiotic reason. So hopefully they're able to get going against this kid since they haven't seen him before, and hopefully Erod's able to have his electric stuff tonight. Now when it comes for tomorrow's game, 
uh, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments or over on Facebook, somebody, if they announced it. But as of now, I haven't seen anything, and it still has TBD um, for the Red Sox. So we'll have to see if that's a bullpen game on Saturday or what they, or I would assume somebody might just go um, on a shorter starter. They might have someone open. Obviously, Tanner Hoke's been a starter to a reliever type guy or there. So maybe you would use him. But you would have to see what they decide to do there against Josiah Gray, um, who has a 5A5 ERA and is 2-2 two two for the Nationals, where then it's reverse on Sunday. The Red Sox got Chris Sale, their ace, back and healthy going in potentially the most pivotal game of the season, depending how the first two go and how the Mariners affair in their first two, as well as the Blue Jays. But they got Sale going on Sunday against TBD for the Washington Nationals. So that rounds out the pitching matchups. The Red Sox, again, from how we went over it with the Mariners, the Mariners seem to have the best matchup, pitching matchup-wise, to fair and advantage towards them, plus they're playing the Angels, where obviously um, they're playing the Orioles up there in Toronto, but if they can take advantage and be spoilers again, that would be great. But it seemed like the Blue Jays are going to have to use their offense since they don't have as much of an advantage of the pitching matchups as the Mariners. So hopefully that advantage goes to the Red Sox and the Blue Jays can lose two of three and we don't have to worry about that and just have to worry about the Mariners. But then the Red Sox, of course, have to come in and take advantage of this Nationals team that is struggling mightily. They can't lose two of three. They got to win two of three at least and come in and claim the second wild card spot go on to play the Yankees, have the best rivalry in baseball in the one-game playoff, which would be absolutely ridiculous. Unfortunately, it will be in Yankee freaking stadium, but it will still be absolutely ridiculous. And an electric game to watch on television and something we all want to see, obviously. So you got to do it. You got to get it done. And the last thing we got to do for this video is just go over the lineups for tonight's ball game. As the Red Sox play the Nationals and Erod goes against Josh Rogers, as I said earlier in the video. For the Boston Red Sox, it's going to be Kike Hernandez leading off again, Kyle Schwarber batting second, Bogarts batting third, Devers fourth, J.D. Martinez in right field in the NL game batting fifth, Renfro in center in the NL game batting sixth, Dahlbeck at first batting seventh, Vasquez batting eighth, and of course Erod then has to bat the pitcher batting ninth. Um, for the Nationals, it's, it's uh, Lane Thomas batting first, Alcides Escobar batting second. He's actually played well, average in RBIs and wise, having a bounce-back season for them this year. Juan Soto batting third, Josh Bell fourth, Cabert Ruiz, the young catcher, fifth, who's also playing well, Jordy Mercer sixth, Carter Keeboon seventh, Andrew Stevenson eighth, and Josh Rogers, the young pitcher, batting ninth. So those are the lineups for tonight. As I said to wrap up this video, the Red Sox just got to come out. They got to score. They got to be more consistent on offense. And as long as they get the consistent pitching, other than the Pavetta game they got in the last series, they should be fine as long as the damn offense gets scored. So score some runs, play some consistent defense, establish the game early. Again, maybe even play some small ball since you're the team in the NL Park where the other teams that you're competing against for this ain't, and they got the advantage of the DH still. So you got to do what you got to do to get runs on the board. This has been a preview to the Red Sox series against the Washington Nationals, the final series of the season. This is Sports Fan News. I'm Joe Borick. Again, please like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoy the content down below or up here on the Easy Widget. Have a great, safe, and pleasant day, and go Sox. Bring that wild card home. Peace out, everybody.